Welcome back this morning, bottom of the hour, and we're tracking breaking news in Seattle. A fire here live from Sky King, uh, and we're hearing reports of multiple people hurt in this house that's connected to the Hillside Motel there right at the Aurora Bridge. We have several crews live this morning, including our Callie Greenberg there live on the scene. Callie, what are you learning about injuries and what firefighters were able to do to get this fire out? So we just got an update uh, two minutes ago, and they said the flames are out. The fire is out. In fact, there's now been a shift. It really looks like crews are working to pack up, and that's because they say they're working to get the northbound lanes of Aurora Avenue open within the hour. It'll be another hour or two before the southbound lanes open back up, unfortunately. But what we are learning is that there were six people who were hurt in this fire. Uh, three of those people are in critical condition. Three of those uh, are stable. What they're telling us is that they had to battle this fire was difficult because if you look at the building, the back side of the building was essentially inaccessible uh, by firefighters. So they had to work with the front side of the building here. They say people were jumping out of the building in order to get to safety uh, when the first fire started. That was around five o'clock this morning. Now, they had a huge response because they weren't sure how many people were inside the building how many people they needed to assist. And that's why they called in a mass casualty incident response. Thankfully, no one was killed uh, in the fire here. However, there are those three patients now at the hospital in critical condition. The fire is under investigation. They have no idea at this time how this started. Uh, but the big thing now is that Aurora Avenue is still shut down. It'll remain shut down at least part of it for the next hour as crews investigate and pack up. Again, this was a huge response, uh, but the flames are out. They're working to clear things out now. The uh, northbound lanes, excuse me, they hope to have open in the next hour. And then the southbound lanes, they say it'll likely be another hour, maybe more, two hours more likely before they can open those back up. I'll send it back to you. All right, Callie Greenberg, thank you for the update. Let's get it over to Stephen Kilbreth in for traffic this morning. Stephen, that's a huge closure right there, right? Oh, for sure, yeah. And uh, the good news is, as she mentioned, we may get some of the lanes open here within the hour, which will be great as the... Uh as the uh, height of our commute uh, starts to pick up there, but 99 it closed is a big deal uh, from just before the Aurora Bridge, just north of the Aurora Bridge to basically lower Queen Anne. Now here with our camera shot that we are taking a look at, we can see some cars driving through. Those could be some people that were uh, stuck there, uh, but that is in the uh, northbound direction right there. So maybe they are uh, letting a few cars go through there right now. Let's take a look at some other spots here in our uh, maps and show you where this is at in case you don't know or aren't familiar with the area. The fire is just south south of the Aurora Bridge near the uh, Canlis restaurant or just south of there even. But that purple area is the road closed. We can see the alternate routes, I-5, Fremont Bridge, Ballard Bridge, University Bridge. In fact, that's gets you across the Ship Canal Bridge. If you live in a certain part of Seattle, you know which is probably the best alternate route for you to get across the Ship Canal Bridge. And they all, or Ship Canal, I should say, and they all look like they are wide open right now, which is good news as an alternate route to try and get across uh, the water and either uh, to north of Seattle or towards downtown Seattle area as we uh, send it back over to you guys.